Hey guys, Matt here. It's Comic Con Eve. Tomorrow will be preview night. Um, before I get everything ready to go and packed up, I did want to do one more video, and that's looking at this big guy here. Uh, this is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Hasbro Transformers Devastator. Um, Devastator was pretty much the star of Toy Fair this year, uh, at least from a Hasbro perspective. This was what all the buzz was about. I'm thrilled to have this guy. Let's take a look. Um, so here's the package, um, the front of the box. Um, it has Devastator's chest plate, um, obviously done with his name, Devastator. Um, the back of the package um, has Devastator's space, uh, and it also features uh, some foil here, giving him some nice shiny eyes. Um, this then slips off, and then back to the front, um, you've got the Transformers logo here, big and bright. And then, then you've got Devastating Her Package in combined mode. Um, right off the bat, I won't go too much of this, we'll look at it in, in detail. Um, but you've got uh, your big old giant Devastator right there in package. And then the back um, has bio. So it's a gorgeous package. Um, the green and purple represent well, Devastator's main colors. And then of course you do have, you know, the gatefold with Devastator there. So let's, um, let's open them up, how about that? All right, here is Devastator out of the package. Uh, right off the bat, you can see the special details that make this the Comic-Con exclusive um, version. You have the vac metal chest plate. Um, he has an alternate face um, with individual eyes, and then also Mixmaster's drum is vac metal. Um, those are the real, you know, and then also looking at the back, um, the individual bots also have um, back metal details. But it's really the back metal is what makes this edition different than the one that's available at retail. Um, so if you're indifferent about the back metal or you don't like the back metal, um, the retail edition will be um, the, the same toy um, with a little difference in the face. Um, if you love back metal, if that's what really floats your boat, uh, then you're going to want to hunt down the Comic Con exclusive um, version. Um, looking at the figure, he's, I mean, first of all, he's giant. Um, 18 inches tall, to put that into some context, um, here's Combiner Wars Superion. Um, I probably have slightly mistransformed one because he fell off a shelf earlier this week. Um, but there's Superion. He goes to just a little bit above halfway. Um, and then, I mean, Devastator clearly towers um, over Superion there. Um, and the other Combiner, um, the other Combiner Wars um, figures. So there's that. Um, so yeah, uh, articulation, pretty solid for a toy this size. Um, you've got shoulders, elbows, um, wrists. Um, his head can turn side to side. Um, fall down here, there we go. Um, he has um, hips. And then a little bit, uh, it's, it's kind of not really a knee, it's too high to be a knee, but it serves the same purpose. And weight. Um, so really, for the figure of the size and being a combiner, um, very well articulated. Um, that's so yeah, there he is from the front, and um, that's what Devastator looks um, from the rear. Um, so there you go. Um, so now what we'll do is um, we'll try to not have him fall here. Um, we'll take a look at the individual robots in both their forms. I'm not going to go through them in detail. Um, I want to, you know, this video could probably go on for 30 minutes or so if I did um, details on each of the robots. But uh, we'll take some shots, we'll get some panoramas, and you can get an idea of what each one is. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do that.
So there you have it, the six Constructicons and Devastator. Um, Devastator is a fantastic toy. Either edition is going to be great. Again, the difference between the regular retail edition and the Comic-Con version are going to be the chrome uh, back metal details on the Constructicons and the Devastator parts, as well as the alternate face. But you can't go wrong with either version. At San Diego Comic-Con, Devastator will be available at the Hasbro Toy Shop booth. After the show, he'll be online um, at HasbroToyShop.com. Probably will sell out quick, so stay close to your computers and hit F5 probably a week or so after the show. Um, check online, there'll, there'll be some buzz about when the things are expected to hit. It's usually pretty accurate. Um, again, thanks uh, to Hasbro and, uh, and the fine folks at Hunter PR for providing these exclusives that I've gone over the past couple days. Um, they're all great toys. I love toys, so these things just are um, the bee's knees. Um, so again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys at Comic-Con. Thanks.